Hello, welcome back to Knitting Catalog. I want you to subscribe to my channel and like my video. If you are new here, I really welcome you and I'm happy to see you and I want you to stay by subscribe to my channel, please. So right now I'm going to show you how to install a punch card. This punch card already in my hand is a motif punch card. What I mean by motif punch card is a card that already have a picture on it. It's not like a pattern, a design. This has a big picture on it. And the picture is like a tractor with a smoke on it. And this card is very common. Yes, the punch card is very common. And the punch card have a number, a letter, a number, yes, a number on it from 1 to 60. That is that zero that this card carry from 1 to 60. That's the card number. That is a row that you can knit with a card. And the card have different view, like view B, D, and A, and C. But normally, we always use A. In our punch card is when you want to turn it upside down then you can go for D but this is what I want to use right now is A and as I'm going to go to install it on the machine the punch card on the machine I'm going to press this and turn this in so right now let me install the card so I'm going to install it when the card gets to a normal level of this red. It must not bend. It must go straight and leveled. So that's the essence. If it is not leveled, that is your card is going to tear off. So I'm going to install to the card and make sure it's leveled. Make sure you push it in until when you hear that snappy sound on your hand that it has already hooked inside and is leveled. So I'm going to press this and start to turn this in. Yes, as I'm turning it, my card is moving in. So you have to press this one down to make sure it's moving in smoothly. So as it's moving in smoothly, I will make sure that the back, the card came out from the back and they are almost at the same level. So right now I'm going to use the card clip, clip to hold the card in position. So this is going to be at the up and this is going to fold in. Don't make that mistake. It should not come like this. If it comes like this, when you want to go in, it may, it may damage your card. It may make the card to tear off. So this is how to go with it. You fold it up. This has to be up so that it can be going in. Not like when it's coming back from coming in, it will now shift or it will not enter properly. So this is the right way to go. This front side has to be up and the back has to fold in. So, hold it in position. Let the hole aligned with the, the hole on it for the clip align together. Then, clip it at the back. Yes, the clip at the back. Clip at the back. That's it. So I'm going to go for the second side of it. Let me push it in a little bit. Yes. You can see the O in it. Let it align together. Then push it in rest that's it you see the place i'm telling you is up 
and the back is in. So you can easily go in at the joint area. Yes, after fixing the card, make sure you roll your card to start from number one, like the number one, set it back to the counting of one in the number written on the A section of the card. So that as you are knitting, you can just take note of how many rows you have knitted. And even with the help of the row counter, you can actually know how many rows you have knitted. But in a way that you want to know which particular aspect of the pattern that you have knitted, you have to watch your card's number to, to make you to know. So by doing that, it's good for you to start from one number one of the selection of the card. So I hope this helps someone and someone will definitely try this on his or her machine. Thank you for watching.